WPGU, After Dark, a couple from Def Leppard, and Photograph. It's 924, double tracks from Motley Crue and David Bowie on the way, along with that new one from Lillian Axe called True Believer. You having a good Christmas Eve? I am. I'm waiting with anticipation for Santa Claus to get here. I think he might have to get some wheels, sport some wheels on his sleigh when he gets in the Champagne area. Obviously, uh, no snow on the ground, so... What the hell? I get some get some wheels on that sleigh. But uh, 107's news reporters are doing a Santa Watch 1991. Continues right now with a report from Dana Rigolato up at the North Pole. Dana. Thank you. In all the cartoons and TV specials, Santa's workshop seems to be a place of joy. However, in real life, it's not quite like in the movies. Long hours and unsafe conditions are major causes for complaints. Add that to the fact that elves at the North Pole are making about 15% less than their brownie and pixie counterparts, and you have a workplace ready to go on strike. Dippy Doodle, spokesman for the Elves Union Local 431, says the elves don't want to threaten Christmas, they just want what's coming to them. Santa's system needs to be completely overhauled. We need more sick days in a retirement plan, and workers' comp has to be updated. Well, I got hurt making one of those G.I. Joe dolls with a Kung Fu grit more than 10 years ago, and I still haven't been reimbursed. After the union overwhelmingly improved a strike, Santa decided to go on the bargaining table. Negotiators will be stating their case to arbitrators from the Eeny, Meeny, Miny, and Moe law offices right after the holidays. Reporting live from the North Pole, I'm Dana Regalado for Santa Watch 1991. Okay, thanks Dana. We'll check in with you and Bob Francis a little bit later on in the hour. Uh, checking out a double shot here from Lillian Axe. It's their Christmas song, Here Is Christmas. I'll follow it up with their new one, True Believer. It's only in WPGU, The Rock Revolution.